Hi there, this is Mirna once again and welcome to RTT video cast. In today's video, we will find out 5 super useful Tasker profiles. Most of you may already know what Tasker is, but to make sure everybody is on the same page, this is what you need to know. By definition, Tasker is an automation Android app. You can use it to trigger actions based on certain events. But if you ask me, then Tasker can do much more than that. For instance, you can make a fully functional Android app with Tasker. It is available on Google Play for approximately $3, but you can also get the 7 day trial version from its official website. Before we start, here are a few things to keep in mind. Number 1. Watch this video on your free time. This tutorial is long and you may learn a lot from it, but make sure you are in the right state of mind to process this information. Second, this video is for both beginners and intermediate tasker user. However, it will be better if you are already familiar with the interface. Number third, all download links, video timestamp and future resources are available in the video description. So make use of them. And finally, for best experience, watch this video in high definition and turn on subtitles. And that being said, let's get started. Profile number one, say WhatsApp notification. Let's say you are driving or busy doing something and then you receive a WhatsApp message. In most cases, you will either ignore the message or stop your work to read it, right? But with Tasker, you can do this. WhatsApp message from Papa. Cool, isn't it? Now let's see how to do that. Open up your Tasker app and under profile, choose the trigger for this task. Go to event, search for notification and select any app you want. For this instance, our trigger is WhatsApp notification. But you can also choose Google Voice, Hangout or even Facebook if you want. Once done, go back to save changes. And now you will need to specify what task you would like to perform when you get WhatsApp notification. So create a new task and give it a name you want. Here I will use the name Speak WhatsApp Messages. Once you are done, tap on the check mark and you will be redirected to Task tab. Now we are ready to add our first action. Since we want to speak our WhatsApp notification, search for say command. Under the text title, select the inbuilt variable called entitle, short for notification title. For now, you can leave the rest things as default and go back to save changes. Now let's test it. Message from Papa. And as you can see, it is working fine, but we can make it even better. For instance, I only want to hear notification when the displays turn off, so I will add this as another trigger. Now only when both of these conditions are true, it will launch the task. Second thing that I like to do, instead of speaking the sender's name, I like to hear the Morse code of it. In this way, it is more fun and also avoid eavesdropping. So head over to your task and use the variable split to extract the sender's name. Under the name select end title and for the splitter action use the space. Keep rest as default and go back to save changes. Now we know by default WhatsApp says the word message from the sender's name. This means our sender's name will get stored in the variable entitle3. To convert this into equivalent Morse code, search for Morse and select the variable entitle3. Now whenever we get WhatsApp messages, it will look something like this. Message from Papa. Profile number 2 Change Wallpaper Automatically So lately I am using this wallpaper app by Gaurav Mantri and it has some great collections of minimal wallpaper. However, every time I want to change the wallpaper, I have to do it manually. But with Tasker, you can automate this as well. So let's see how this is done. Start by collecting all the images under the same folder. For this instance, I will expect all the images from the APK. But you can also choose the images you want. Next, use the batch name option of ES File Explorer to make sure the names are in the same sequence and have the same file extension. Once you are done, copy the file location and head over to the Tasker app. For this profile, we will use time as a trigger. So set the time you like and then choose how often would you like to repeat this task. Let's say every 2 hours. Now go back and save changes. And create a new task and let's call it change wallpaper. For this task, our first action is to generate a random number. For that, we will use variable randomize. 
give any name to your variable but make sure it start with a capital letter or you won't be able to access it outside this task start value should be 1 while end value is equal to the number of images you have second action is to add wallpaper so tap on the plus sign and search for set wallpaper here enter the path of the folder followed by the file name and random variable now again go back and save changes and that's it you will now see new wallpaper every now and then everyone loves privacy however it is hard to find these days so let's say your friend asks for your phone saying that he wants to check something on the internet and as soon as you turn away he started exploring your whatsapp messages or checking out your phone history but with this tasker profile whenever they open your personal app it will automatically close with an alert message this way you can kill two birds with a single shot first they won't see your personal stuff and second you will get to know their real intentions so how do we do it? Well, like always, head over to your Tasker app and create a new trigger. Choose the application that you want to block and then go back to save changes. Now create a new task for this profile. Let's call it private mode. Add the first action to go home. This will bring up the home screen whenever the restricted apps are open. Next, add a notification sound. And finally, you can flash a text like an expected error or something. However, if you have planned to use this profile quite a lot, then make sure that the suspect don't know that you use Tasker or else he can simply force quit Tasker and use a restricted app. Also, if your phone is rooted, then you can even hide your notification and default keyboard. There is an awesome video about it by Tech Muggles, so check that out. Profile number 4, Pomodoro Mode. The night before making this video, I was reading Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy and it gave me the idea of Pomodoro mode with Tasker. Pomodoro timer are popular and you may already know about it. But for those who don't, basically it is a technique to increase your productivity and get more work done in less time. And this is how it works. You set an alarm for 25 minutes. During this 25 minutes, you only focus on your work. No Facebook, no Reddit, no WhatsApp. After the 25 minutes is over, you take 5 minute break and then come back and repeat this 25 minute cycle. So let's see this in action. When I am in my office, I tap my device over this NFC tag and it starts the 25 minute timers. Pomodoro mode activated. Work now. Cuts off all notification and after the 25 minute is over, it says Good work. You deserve 5 minute break. Now for this project, you will need couple of things like NFC enabled smartphones and some NFC tags. If you don't have one then look online and you can find the NFC tags quite cheap. And also check out my playlist on NFC for more information. And finally you will also need some other applications like auto notification, trigger and obviously tasker all available on Google Play. So let's see how to do that. Download and install auto notification from Google Play and create a new profile with the notification you want to disable. For this instance, I will disable all the notification and call it no notification. Now like always, open tasker and create a new task. Let's call it Pomodoro mode. To save some time, I will import my existing task and explain it down to you step by step. First and second action will display the notification and speak out Pomodoro mode active work now. In third action, we will turn off all notification. For this, we will use no notification profile that we have just created. In fourth action, we will start the actual timer and wait for 25 minutes. After we have worked for 25 minutes, we deserve a break. So sixth and seventh action will display a pop-up message and speak, take five minute break. And after waiting for five minutes, next action will see tap your phone on NFC to activate Pomodoro. And finally, we will revert the changes by turning on our notification service. And that's it. Now you will need to write this task on NFC tags. You can use a tasker plugin called NFC Local, but since it is paid, I suggest you go for the free alternative. So install trigger from Google Play and open it. Create a new task and add NFC as a trigger. You can even customize it more, but for now, we don't need to. Once you see the option to add tasker, click on the small magnifying glass and select the Pomodoro mode from here. Save changes and that's it. Now you can do more work in less time. And finally the last one, it is not particularly useful but kind of funny. So if you have a nosy sibling or a friend fiddling with your phone whenever you are not around then this profile will help you to discourage them. So let's see this in action. 
when there are multiple unsuccessful login attempts, your device will take a discrete picture, then set it up as a wallpaper and also give a warning. Now let's see how to do it. You will need a tasker plugin called Secure Settings. Although this plugin requires root access for most of the stuff, for this particular profile you don't have to be rooted. Once you have installed the plugin, make sure it has access to your lock screen. Now open tasker and in the profile tab, select the trigger as Secure Settings. Configure it by selecting the Fail Login Attempts option and then set the value more than 4. Save changes and go back. Next, create a new task. Let's call it Take Picture Set Wallpaper. Now add the first action to Take Picture. In the settings, select the front cam, give it a name, let's say Pick and make sure to check mark insert in gallery and discrete option go back and save changes next set the photo as wallpaper by default tasker save the pictures in the dcim folder use the say command to make it speak something funny and give it a alert message if you want and you are all set you can even use this profile to catch thieves by syncing your photos to google plus and sending you the text with the gps location but for now, we will leave it here only. Well, this is all for now. There are a few more profiles that I was not able to include in this video. Instead, I will post them on my blog. And if you find this video helpful, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Seriously guys, my last video on Tasker got 50 dislikes. And it would be awesome if I can get more likes this time. And that being said, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more advanced videos on Tasker. So this is Mrinal signing off and like always, thanks for watching.